Hi everyone, it's Brittany and Katie with the Q Team in Rochester, New York, and this month is National Home Ownership Month, woo woo. right? So happy National Home Ownership <laughs> Month! I'm sure you've all been celebrating. A reason to celebrate, we need one, right? <laughs> um, so we wanted to talk quickly about why it could be financially beneficial for you to be a homeowner, um, especially comparing homeowning to renting. I think that's a big thing that people wonder: like, is it is it more affordable to own a home, especially with the I was you know, just the market the way it is? A lot of people are like, you know what, does it even make sense for me to buy a home right now? Um, the answer is most of the time, yes, and we're gonna tell you why. Mm -hmm. So the first portion that we always talk about is paying a mortgage versus paying rent. So essentially when you are paying rent, you are paying your landlord's mortgage and then paying a good chunk usually over that to your landlord for profit. Profit, yeah. So essentially you're paying a mortgage and then some. I mean, the landlord isn't just gonna rent to somebody for what it costs them. Mm -hmm. they, they're not doing a favor, it's their business. Right, so they're trying to make money, which mm -hmm. means that you're paying for their profit yeah. to own that home, to then be able to provide you with housing. Yeah. So when you are getting your own mortgage, you know, you are, you're not paying that surplus, you're not paying your landlord that profit. Right, so a lot of people, what a lot of people are seeing right now is that if they are looking to buy their first home, what I'm gonna call in this market, which we're in, um, <laughs> they're, they're noticing that the prices are inflating over previous years, which we had it coming anyways. I mean, Rochester was just significantly behind the rest of the nation. Yeah. But um, we are seeing our buyers say that they're saving hundreds of dollars a month on their mortgage payment after they buy than what they were paying in rent. I just had somebody who's saving $500 a month. Wow, right. that's amazing. On, on what it will cost their mortgage once they close. And I have a lot of people that they're, you know, we're gonna get to this point, but you know, their rent's going up to this amount and mm -hmm. their mortgage is either the same or less, or sometimes, you know, they're being able to afford so much bigger space, a, yeah. a yard, this, the you know, space all of these thing extra, is a big thing too. Yeah, these extra features and space and all that, and they own it and they're paying the same, maybe a little bit more, maybe a lot less. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot less. Um, so, this was a fun stat, and we don't really talk a whole ton of stats because it's not everybody's ish, but <laughs> homeowners spend 16% of their income on their mortgage. On and average, tell, yeah. yeah, and tell everybody what what renters are spending. Renters on average. on average in the study are shown to spend 26%. A 10% difference. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that alone just kind of shows you numbers don't lie. So. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, number two, we've talked about this again as well, but basically when you own a home, it's just kind of, you know, you are forcing yourself to save. You're forcing yourself to invest. This is an investment. Mm -hmm. Every time you make that mortgage payment is going towards the principal of your home, which is ultimately building equity for right. yourself. It's Whereas your when I mean, you rent, yeah, it's your money. Yeah. I mean, it's going, it's building equity for your mm -hmm. landlord, which, you know, why not build that equity for yourself? Mm -hmm. Especially if you can afford it or even save some money. And I was just going to say, and save at the same time. So renters aren't having that extra money to invest elsewhere or invest back into the home mm -hmm. to make changes that oftentimes renters desire in their rentals mm -hmm. um, because they are paying that increased amount per month. Yeah. Um, so speaking of increasing amounts, the third thing that we wanted I didn't to think touch you... on. I don't even think you planned that. I did it, but it, it flowed so nicely. Right? Um, so you're, the rent, especially in the rental market that we're renting now, the rent goes up regularly. Your landlord is typically not going to keep your rent stable for very long. They're going to keep things, keep rent with market trends, with you know market rent and rent increases over time. The co you know, the, just the cost of the rental market is going to go up. So typically you are going to expect to pay more if you are staying in a rental or if you're looking for something bigger, you're going to pay more. Right. Whereas your mortgage payment is going to remain. If The only two things that are going to change is if you change your homeowner's insurance and if your taxes change. Mm -hmm. Otherwise your mortgage payment remains stable. You can budget, you can yeah. plan, you know that that's going to be consistent. So, yeah, so you know that like in three or five years, that's about what you're going to be paying, if not exactly what you're still going to be paying. Whereas mm -hmm. if you're renting, your payment could in three or five years go up hundreds. Hundreds of dollars. We've so, seen it recently. I mean, clients of mine right now, that are, they just bought a house, but they were saying, you know, their rent is increasing a hundred something dollars this year, plus they're adding some extra fee, plus, you know, there's all sorts of things that they're just like, we got to get out of here. I know. It's, it's so sad. Whenever people tell me like, you know, we're stuck in our rental because we can't find a home, but they're increasing 
-hmm. our month or our rent, you know, in a couple months, or if they want to go month to month because they want to buy, um, that is usually a larger increase than what the rent would be. Yeah. So, it's all I'm right. Sorry. <laughs> I know it so sucks. The, yeah. The last thing that we wanted to mention is just kind of the the cost of potentially waiting. So a lot of people are considering, you know, do, should I wait? You know, maybe I'll rent a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the the expectation is that this market is going to continue to be as competitive or more competitive than we've been seeing. However, I guess the thing that's important to tell people is that we're not necessarily expecting based on what the projections are that prices are going to be going backwards. So I guess that's a great thing if you're nervous about buying in the way that the market is right now. Yeah, if you're nervous about making the investment, um, we're seeing that you don't need to be right mm -hmm. now. Um, and we're also seeing that prices are continuing to climb. Right. So over I, previous months. Anyone that had said that a year ago that they were going to maybe wait for the market to cool down is likely probably regretting that decision a little bit. Um, and that might be what we we're seeing next year. So I guess the point is, is take advantage while the rates are low. Take advantage sooner than later if you are financially in a position to be able to do mm -hmm. so to be able to start taking advantage of this you know, financial investment. It sounds, I mean, with what everyone is saying about the market that we're in, it sounds so contradictory to say it's a great time to buy. I get it. Like, I know. It, it doesn't sound like, like it is, mean? but That's when crazy. you look at the reasons why it is and you compare financially, renting versus buying mm -hmm. versus staying where you're at versus selling where you're at, taking that equity and putting it into something new, how much more you could get, it, it is a great time to buy. It really is. <laughs> so with all of these wonderful facts, right. happy National Home Ownership right. Month. And we are here to help you celebrate by buying a home this month. How fun would that be? Right? Bought a home <sighs> in National Home Ownership Month of Oh my gosh, right? <laughs> so That's give us awesome. a call, like share with someone that you th that is thinking about buying or maybe kind of wavering on the like, you know, doesn't make sense to buy I right know. now. Just so they can understand these facts and make an education Share it with them. And if they want to reach out to us themselves, we're happy to have a conversation with them as well. Totally. So we will talk to you guys soon.